Angles on parallel lines, grade D, GCSC, level 6, national curriculum. Okay, we've got a lot of information here, but it's all drawn on this diagram, which, as always, is not drawn accurately. So we can't just measure these values. Now, um, standard thing to do with parallel lines, we need to know the three basic rules of parallel lines. Where we have a line crossing parallel lines, we have... Um, this rule where we have an F shape where these two angles here are the same so that's called corresponding corresponding angles we have the one where these are the parallel lines we have the one where we get the Z shape now these can be back to front upside down and stuff so you got to be able to see that where we have the angles on either side that's called alternate angles and they're the same and the third one which is probably the least used is the one where we have um, angles on the inside in a C shape that's called interior angles okay so in this this question find an angle X Always on, on a, a line crossing parallel lines, there are actually only two angles. These ones, 55, this one, X, and this one are all the same. And similarly, the 125 are this one and this one are all the same. So you're only ever looking at two of them, and you can see which size they are. So you should be able to get this answer, no problem. It's clearly 55 if there's only two different angles. But why is that? Well, the reason is because of this shape here. Oops, already drawn, is an F shape. And we have to use the special word for it, and that word is corresponding. And what we need to say is corresponding angles are equal. And that will give you um, two marks.